All right, so today we're gonna to look at motion graphics and I'm gonna do a little bit different assignment. I'm not even gonna tell you what the question is. It's not gonna be written here. So what you have to do is watch the whole video. So when I get to that question, I may add, I may add questions, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I would like you to uh, answer these questions as I go over this topic. And you're probably curious, what is that topic? Well, uh, it's motion graphics. So let's get into it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a new project here and um you know i'm just gonna call it motion graphics so and if we haven't really talked about this th this is the first thing so when you hit browse you're actually choosing the place where you want to save the project file okay i'm gonna hit okay here and the first thing you want to do if you're using adobe premiere pro 2020 or 2018 is that you need to go to uh create a sequence down here there that's the first question what's the first thing you should do once you have it open open a sequence create a sequence okay so i'm gonna go up there and i'm gonna go to new sequence so that was question one by the way all right and right here we're gonna go to digital slr and 1080 and 24 frames looks like movies 30 frames look more like sports and soap opera so we're gonna go 24 frames it looks more cinematic all right there we go Ooh, there's question two what looks more cinematic 24 or 30 frames per second <laughs> you got to rewind it now and find out <laughs> okay so typically we're on the editing tab right here and we got to bring in some files so I'm gonna open this up and go to DJI well it doesn't matter I got some video of me uh, recording some stuff so I'm gonna drop this in well actually no I'm gonna double click first bring it into here and I only need a little bit of it so I'm just gonna do I for in and then O for out Oop, that's actually kind of long Oh, that's too long too. All right, overall, I'm gonna drag this down and drop it in. What's gonna come up? This thing comes up. It says the clip does not match the sequence settings. Ooh, this is question three. Uh, change the sequence to match the clip settings. Well, what does that even mean? What that does is it's gonna make sure that your source video over here matches the timeline. So I'm gonna hit change sequence settings. And what it is is I believe I recorded this at 60 frames per second. All right, there we go and it's playing now we just gonna we we just gonna <laughs> we are just looking to add a little bit of video because i want to add text to it as well so once let's say you have this done and this is a commercial or psa or whatever it might be then you can go up here to graphics and right here on the right side they have all these different things typically you're probably going to just do something like uh these all say angled those look stupid uh let's look at basic ones right here so you know maybe um you're going to drop this in and what you do is you just drag it from the left over to the right and there it is and so the way you edit this is as long as you're in the selection tool you should be able to double click on it you can change it right here um you can also uh sometimes they have a place for it over here but uh you can just double um yeah just double click on it over here and let's say this is uh you know mr raymond and then i'm you know go to the second one and i could do like ooh, oh you know Prof profesh professional is that how you spell professional do they have do they have um they i don't think they have um spell check in here so i hope i'm right <laughs> professional hiker okay all right so um if you look down here this is the length i'm going to make this a lot larger so you can see it so um you can just see it's this there it's just a static pops in and let's say I want it to stop right there. I could just shorten this up using the trim tool and that would work just fine. So that's how long it's up there for. So this is some basic stuff. Let's look at ha editing actually though. So like, you know, if you highlight this, control A selects all. Ooh, that's the next question, control A. I don't know if we're on questions four or five, you're gonna have to figure it out. All right, so this is the next question. Uh, when you click somewhere, if you do control A, it selects all, okay? so that's what i want you to put what control what does control control a do it does it selects all all right um over here on the right you have all these different options though right now it's filled with white but you can also add a stroke and what that does is let's turn on uh let's turn on like like a bright red here um uh, i'm gonna click off so you can see it but you can see there's a thin red line around it let's make it a lot thicker so right here is the the stroke width and what you can do is you can just up it some right there's nine okay and so that's the next question. What is stroke? Well, it's the outline of the, um, 
of the text and you can choose that color you can also even have to add a shadow let's turn off stroke here for a second and um so you can just you can just minus it so it doesn't you don't even see it oh it didn't take it off oh that's inner stroke outer stroke i see got it there you go uncheck it like that you can see it kind of separates it from the background okay and you can even change the distance and uh, of the stroke and how much it, it blurs and things like that um that kind of sets it off the page for example all right you can change how thick it is view the oh so i'm going to click off it for a second you can kind of see it looks like it's kind of floating a little more i don't like the look of that let's delete it okay so let's go back to browse up here at the top and that allows us to add some more of these and i'm going to drop in um let's get some motion graphics up in here yo so you see some fancy ones down here let's look at some of these so if i move this over for example and want to intro it with this gaming background loop or i think they have another one like that right here gaming transition i'm going to straddle that on an edge of nothing and my video here and just so you see what this looks like i'm going to hit play here oh so let's try that again it's it's got to like think about it the first time so maybe kind of slow let's try it again come on buddy well wasn't that cool though and so it's going to reveal what whatever's under it okay so if you put on layer two Ooh, this is the next question five or six i don't even know um how do you um how do you get video underneath the graphic well you put it on layer one you put it under layer one all right um that way if it's on top it's just like sheets of paper one's on top of another just like you have layers down here as well okay all right cool i like that that looks pretty cool and they also have these fancier ones too let's look at i think they had like a sports one around here on the right side yeah here we go let's say it's a real complicated fancy looking one right here this one right here is like a scoreboard right so soccer results how do you go up and you change it now if you click up here um and, and you actually type in you know billy or something like that and hit enter it'll change to it there or you can just look here on the right side and you can even choose you know make it thicker or tilted or, or whatever um or you can just type it in right here so where it says adobe soccer world cup i can also just go here on the right side and type in you know mr raymond world cup it's kind of stupid but whatever and it'll take a second but it will appear here on the left side as well okay all right cool so the thing this thing right here this is what a motion graphic is it can be text but it can also just be some sort of graphic all right and then this is um you can see even the backgrounds moving watch that see like these background things right here if you play it oh i thought it was moving am i crazy maybe i'm wrong okay all right let me show you one more it, it does move actually it's just my computer's not keeping up with it which is pretty crazy hey can you close that door close the door all right, and then let me show you one more and then I'll let you be on your way here. Um, where is it here? Oh, they also have other wipes like this. So let's say, you know, this wipe right here, for example, it can go from one clip to the next. Oh, it's gonna take a long time. Oh, look at that, wasn't that cool? If you had a cut right there and you had to transition from one place to another, that works so well. And what you can do is you can even, you can even edit that thing, you know, the, these objects, you can select them and change them which is really cool because if you you know you got a certain theme whoa oh geez <laughs> hello Ooh, that's question eight what's my son's name and it's what's your name say it loud well yeah that's question eight or seven i i don't know okay and um anyways you can change this stuff can you close that door i'm hearing mickey mouse yeah. thank you um you can change these colors. So again, maybe question nine, can you change the colors of motion graphics? You betcha you can, all right? Now, you're not gonna write that as a question answer. You don't wanna say like yes and no on these questions. You should say yes, you can change graphics colors. Okay, last one. That's not the one I wanted to show you. This one's good over here. Oh, right here, angled lower third. I think that's the one, let's look here. All right, yes, right here. So this is what I wanna really show you, okay? Is, is right here you see it's a lighter pink and here's a lighter pink that's the duration of the transition so watch i hit play right here and see how it like digitizes in you can actually grab that edge um i believe oh what you can do is you can just make it shorter overall if you make it shorter those transitions will still be in there which is really cool so it'll be a lot faster my name really quickly and then it's out like that quick right if you run it a second time it's usually faster whoa 
All right, cool. All right, so that's the last one. You can shorten these graphics. Last question is, can you, um, you can shorten uh, these motion graphics and they will, they will quicken, okay? Just like we saw over here with the, uh, um, this little graphic right here that flies by. I believe I can even shorten this. It's gonna be like super fast. Ready for it? Whoa, do it again. Whoa, one more time. Whoa, okay, cool. All right, so there it is. Um, you had a lot of questions. It was more than just what was on there. And um, I just wanted you to get exposed to this. I wasn't gonna make a tutorial on it necessarily that you have to do exactly what I do, but just by watching this, going over to the essential graphics, the graphics panel right here, and trying these things out. Um, and oh, the last question is, how can you use these in your next video? Whether you're working on a PSA or you're working on um, an interview or whatever it might be, I want you to incorporate these graphics. Um, could just be the slogan, could be someone's name, could be some um, some facts, whatever it might be. All right, so try these out, put them in your video. All right, guys, that's it. See ya.